Hi guys, good afternoon. Arlene here from Lipa City, Batangas. So now it's feeding time for the chickens. So as you can see on my background, they are there. So that is the the rooster together with the two ladies, two black ones. And I gave them some rice and some corn, you know, crack corns. And then here inside come with the mother and the babies as well. And here, actually, I don't know whether you can see. That's the white rooster. Somehow, they are still afraid of me. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. And here comes the ducks. So, I just gave them already three cups. And... And of course, they are running away from me. <laughs> so as you can see, there are three hens. Actually, they are sharing some food uh, with the ducks. And the ducks don't like it. And yeah, look at the fence. I think it's, uh, it's not good. So when Oliver is coming, then he has to fix the fence. And as well this one. So actually, yeah. So this one he has to fix because um, I did it only with my sister. So we are not carpenters, you know. So yeah, but I don't know how to fix it pro properly. So I need his help. <laughs> So uh, they finish all the food and later I will give them some water. So I think if you will look closely, there are some ducks with brown spots and some ducks with white spots. So that's already mixed bread. And of course, we still have Juicy and Lucy. So uh, actually in the morning after I, I was uh, outside with them, then it was raining so I have them inside for like two hours but after that then I already put them outside because they need to graze right so now they are here just close by and the purpose is they have to eat all the grass here you know because the grass cutter man will not come this weekend so he said he will come this coming week and most probably when Oliver is around so something he doesn't like but um, you know it's rainy season and there's always work for a grass cutter, right? For a grass cutter man. So I cannot blame our grass cutter man if he will do other work aside from this one because this will take him like three to four hours and others that will take him one whole day and then he got uh, more money than coming here, right? So as you can see, that is juicy. So she's enjoying it and tied to a uh, to a mango tree and that other one is uh, the pregnant our pregnant Lucy uh, she's eating a lot you know so I think it's because uh, most probably there are like two babies inside I think so and if it, it will be like triplets that's wonderful because uh, yeah more babies more kids to play with and that's fantastic but i'm i'm only thinking we have a problem because our yard is kind of small to raise like uh, additional two to three babies so we really have to get a fence which is a uh, which run by electricity and the moment they touch the fence then they will be a little bit electrocuted but not so much only that they will stay away from the fence and then we can move them because the idea is we don't want to have them tied to a rope anymore they have to run freely by themselves you know so that's the idea we want them that uh, they are free that they can enjoy their freedom they have a good life and yeah that is good right that should be so we will check where we're gonna get this fence uh, and together with the battery and then yeah then they can we can move the fence around here and then they can just you know stroll around it should be like big like i don't know how big it is but oliver said it's possible to get here in the philippines 
so I'm really happy about it so at least we can move for example they will be here today and tomorrow they will be by the garage area or you know at the back side of the house which is empty so that's the idea and uh, just an update as you can see uh, our rambutan is still not uh, ripe so I yeah, as you can see no they are all still green so I, I don't know how many days left that it will be ripe because last year I remember I was in Germany and then my sister said oh Ate can we eat your rambutans already I said yeah of course if it's ripe then you have to eat it right and then after I was coming back I think I arrived like um, end of October I was still able to get some but only few left you know because they ate almost everything so I'm really expecting that they will be ripe when Oliver is here then at least he can appreciate it you know that yeah he will say oh yeah okay after four years of waiting actually this is the fourth year and then you can have something like that actually but he doesn't like rambutan very much you know so so just check they really like she's really pregnant right you enjoy eating lucy i think she likes it i'm I will definitely for sure uh, vlog uh, the day or the night when she will deliver the baby or the kids that is something I'm really looking forward to because um, that will be the first time I will document something like this you know because uh, when I was a kid my grandfather used to own some actually a lot of goats and but uh, you know during those time we don't have phones we don't have cameras you know something like this so this will be my first time really of documenting something and for me and uh we are treating them as a pet right that's uh, something you know that uh, for sale or something like this so of course if there are so many then we will sell but at the moment they are our pets so to see them that they will have uh, they they will give birth to another life that is something like a miracle to me you know so for me it's just like yeah something like a joyous celebration something to look forward to and i'm really thrilled so i remember last time that was around december i think yeah december january arbin and i we were up for two weeks you know two times during the night just to check if they are delivering the baby but it was only a false alarm so imagine how disappointed we were but now really I confirm it and the neighbors confirm it all uh, my friends confirm it I send them some pictures on messenger and they confirm yeah your your goat is pregnant so that is something we are really looking forward to it so that's really fantastic guys so thank you so much for watching my video and for those who haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and uh, have a nice weekend guys thank you bye bye